Hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Welcome to the sixth Solo Play Sunday. Today, I'll be soloing a game called Concordia using the new Solitaria expansion. Concordia is the fourth highest ranked game in my collection, and this expansion adds a ton of new ways to play the game. This small box not only includes the first ever solo AI for Concordia called Contrarius, it also includes a cooperative mode where two players can play against the AI, and the AI can even be used in a competitive two-player game to simulate a third player. I'll be reviewing all the different ways you can play with the Solitaria expansion next week, but for today we'll just be doing a solo playthrough. Before we begin, I thought you should know that solo play Sundays are for charity. At the end of the game, I donate about half of my score to a charity, and the other half goes toward entrepreneurs in developing countries through an organization called Kiva.org. The money I donate today will go to the Ukrainian Baptist Convention's humanitarian relief efforts. I'll talk more about UBC at the end of the video, but if you have a recommendation for a charity I should check out, or a game I could play for the next solo play Sunday, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get to it! All right, here we are. Welcome to the Roman Empire circa 2,000 years ago. Of course, we are playing against Contrarius over there. We've got our six Astertii. We've got our starting hand of cards. Contrarius also has his starting hand of cards. He also gets the leftmost specialist card from the trade row there. We'll put that into his uh, tableau there and slide over. Now, it's important that he has his own specialist card because uh, sometimes dice or other actions will... Uh, have him take a specialist building or place a specialist building. So that's what we've got so far. And this is very, very simple. Each turn I'm going to play a card and then the Contrarius is going to do what he does based on my card. So uh, each of my cards has the Contrarius action like so. So without further ado, let's just dive in and uh, I think you'll uh, see how simple this is as we proceed. So first turn of the game, let's get to, I'm going to start with an architect card. I think that's a pretty standard move here. I'm going to move my ship colonist one, two. I can move two spaces, of course. And I'm going to build adjacent to this ship. And I'm going to spend a uh, brick and some food for the food city. And I'm going to spend one food for the brick city, like so. I also need to spend three of my coins. One, two, three, to build two houses uh, here and here, and that'll be my first turn. Like so, I'll point out now, by the way, that there is a water route here. I'm just covering that up since I have very little space <laughs> in, my, in my frame there. So that was my architect action. Uh, I'm done with that. Of course, I can't build adjacent to my land colonist. And then the Contrarius is going to take one card. So we roll the blue die to see where he builds. And it's a three. Sorry, not where he builds, which card he takes. So he takes the third card, that's the Mercator. That's the advanced Mercator, of course. You get five Cistercii when you do that action. And there we go, it's that simple. So again, I take my action and then Contrarius takes his action based on the card that I played. Next, I'm looking to activate one of these regions. I would love to get some more bricks, so I'm gonna activate Campania, like so. And I'll do the Prefectus Magnus version of this action. So I'm going to activate up here. I get two tools because this is the PM, right? Perfectus Magnus. I take two tools into my supply. I also activate uh, here, so I get the brick. And then it says, uh, Contrarius, let's see, uh, gets points based on the number of houses in that province with a minimum of two. So two points for Contrarius. By the way, you'll notice I started at 20 points. I'm starting on the uh, normal standard difficulty. So I get a 20 point head start. Uh, although, sometimes that is not enough. So, there we go, I did my Prefect card. Contrarius got two points, he's on the board, and it is back to my turn. So, I've got brick, I could build a tool building now, but I'd like to do a little bit more, I'd like to get some more brick, if at all possible. Um, so, how do we get some more brick? Well, of course I could trade for some, I think that's what I'll do, I'll play my Mercator card. Actually, I could uh, do my Diplomat to copy his Mercator card, but I think I'll save my Diplomat for the Architect action. So, I'll do Mercator. I get three Cistercia, I'm back to six. And then I can trade up to two types of goods. What I really want are brick. Uh, I also need to save some money for building these buildings out on the board. So, let's see. I do want to buy one brick for those three coins. And that actually might be all I need. That'll give me enough to build two tool buildings or a tool and a wine. I could already start to diversify a little bit. Although with three coin, boy, I am not going to be able to do too much, am I? No, I think my next step will have to be finding a way to get some coin. Although let me think, all I did was buy brick. I could also sell something. I could sell 
my wine, for example, if I wanted to, or I could sell my silk. How about I sell my wine? Because that'll let me take this spot right there, a tool and a silk. Even though, yes, I'm doubling up in Campania, I think that would still be a pretty good move. So why don't I go ahead and sell my wine for six sestertiae, correct? Yes, because I bought the brick and I'm selling the wine for six. I'll take a five and a one. All right, and that'll be my turn right there. Fantastic. Bought a brick, sold a wine. Now, Contrarius, let's take a look, is going to build one house using the black die, and the province that he builds in is going to produce. So it's kind of a two-for-one action there. Looks like brick. So, a couple things happen. This card is very helpful here to help us see where Contrarius is going to build. So, uh, he needs to build somewhere within reach. Of course, he has two... Uh, col colonist movements just like I do. It has to be an empty city, ideally, and ideally he'd build in a new province, which right now everything is new for him. So let's look at brick that he's able to get to. He could go here, but he's not going to because it's not an empty city. He could sail to here. He could, of course, walk to here, and I think that might be it if I'm looking at things correctly. Yes, I think so. Two spaces away he could get to Ancana, and he can get to Masana. He doesn't want to go to Neapolis, right? They're both empty provinces, which is the next tiebreaker. So the next tiebreaker, sorry, the final tiebreaker is the city name, which Ancana, starting with an A, obviously beats Masana. So his land colonists will travel the shortest route up to here into Umbria and place one of his houses in Ancana. And that's how easy it is to resolve his build action. Okay, lots of tiebreakers, but beyond that, pretty straightforward. So he's done that. And then that province produces Umbria. So we flip this over. And beyond that, nothing happens. Of course, if I had a house there, I'd get some resources. But he's in his own region there. And that's his turn. All right, for my next turn, I'm running low on options here. So I think what I'll do is I'll diplomat Contrarius's architect up there. I'm going to flip that in a second. But let's leave it face up for now. I have two moves. I'm going to go one, two. And I think this is where I want to be building my next two houses. Uh, obviously, I can't build adjacent to the ship because I already did. So let me pay a brick and a silk and a brick and a tool for those two buildings. And if we look at our little handy cheat sheet, that's going to cost five plus three, eight money. So almost all the money I have, there's a five and a two and a one. And I'm building two houses, one in Umbria, one in Campania, like so. And like so, all right, let's get those buildings out. So four buildings out. And now, if Contrarius activates Umbria again, I'll get a little benefit from it. So there we go. That is what we want to do. And I think I'm done with my architect action. And then let's take a look over here. Contrarius's action, of course, is taking a card. So let's roll and see which one he takes. That's a three. Another prefect card. There we go, that adds to his tableau, and we'll flip the architect card over. That means we can't diplomat that again. By the way, you'll notice that this is a double Jupiter scoring card for Contrarius. That's his special card right there. All right, running low on options, I have a senator, I have a prefect, and then the tribune card. So, what do we want to do next? I do enjoy putting brick houses all over the board, especially, oh, I need to slide this, especially if I can get that Mason Specialist card. Uh, that's pretty much my only strategy in Concordia. I, I tend to do well if I can get the Mason. If I don't get the Mason, I do not do well. So <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of my strategy. So I need a food. Well, I know how I can get food. I'm going to play my Prefect, and we will flip Cecilia over, and that'll get me a food from up there and a food from down here and Panormus. Okay, so two food there. And then Contrarius is going to take uh, points equal to the number of houses in that province, which is one. So he goes up to three. All right, simple. Now, I can Senator, and you know what? Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have gotten rid of that silk because right now I need a food and a silk for that. So I've got no way of getting that, perhaps. Hmm, well, I'm not sure what else I could have done. So I've got a Senator and a Tribune. I could buy the Diplomat. That's true, which would make this a little bit cheaper. Uh, I wish I could slide that down now somehow, but... Hmm, another architect would be nice too. Diplomat's great because you can copy all this stuff over here. So I might go for that. I think I'll try it. Purchase up to two cards uh, into my hand. I'll buy the Diplomat for one tool. Oh, I hate to give Contrarius this whole other action. So I'll just buy that one card. I don't think I'll buy anything else. Um, 
well, I could buy that as well. You know what? Let's try to maximize this turn. Sure, I'm going to spend a tool, and I might end up regretting this, but I think I'll spend the tool and the food to take the architect. Oh boy. We'll go ahead and slide those down. I do want to have a lot of cards, of course. Cards is how you score in this game. Oh no! I dropped a card on me. Go ahead and grab that. There we go. And Contrarius is going to build a house using the white dies. So here we go. Building a house in another brick spot. So let's see what brick things he can get to. He still only has two movement points. Uh, of course, there's a brick here. He can't get to that brick. Let's see, there's a brick down here. Let's see, but he can't get there either. So I think I see one, two options that are empty brick places. Of course, that's his preferences, empty spots. So one of those places, I think that's correct. And they're both new provinces and Masana M beats R alphabetically. So we'll travel the shortest route possible. One, two, and put a house down for Contrarius in Masana. Now it's back to me. I can architect, but I, well, I guess I actually could build a brick building, but I'll save that for when I have uh, more, more things I can do. I could diplomat. Oh, that's an idea. I could diplomat maybe one of his prefects to get me what I need to get that mason. That seems like a decent idea. Or I could do his strong mercator action as well. It'd be nice to have five money going into the next round. Let me think. Well, I do want brick for sure. Um, I just like having brick around. So I think I'll copy something over there. Just gotta think what I wanna do. I could prefect, I could activate a region. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the diplomat. I'm gonna copy Contrarius' prefect. I'm gonna use the bottom action, which is uh, flipping all these over and collecting the coins. That's five coins. That might seem silly, but I think I have some reason behind that. So I've got five coins there. And then the bottom, if I take the coins, Contrarius just gets two points. So one, two, we'll flip that over to show that I have used that card. And it's back to me. I have the architect again. I'm gonna hold off on that and I'll go ahead and well, <laughs> you know what? I actually was thinking about using that, but then Contrarius is gonna take cards and probably he'll take, my, most likely he'll take that first one. There's two ones on this die. And my turn that I have in mind is grabbing both of those next, uh, next few turns from now. So let's go ahead and tribune. I'm gonna pick up our cards. Uh, of course, each card after the third gives me a coin. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. Awesome, I've got 11 coins going into the second, uh, I guess it's not a round, but you know what I mean. I cannot build a colonist, uh, unfortunately, that would have been nice if I would have gotten a tool, but I didn't. And then Contrarius, let's see, is gonna build a house for his best specialist, which is uh, tools, his only specialist right now. So let's look at tool places where he can build a house. Let's see, um, can he get here? No, uh, he could sail around to Crouton, <laughs> Croton. Uh, there's Mutina, he could also get to Genva. Let's see, and it looks like those are all the spots he can get to. They are all new provinces, so we go to alphabetic order again, and Croton seems like where he wants to be. And yes, I think so, let's go ahead and put a house there. Of course, he's sailing around Masana to get there like so. And that's not all. When we Tribune, he builds a house for a specialist and then takes one colonist or one card, depending on this die roll, which is a C colonist. So let's go ahead and put a C colonist right here in Roma. And my cards are back in my hand. I've got 11 coins. I'm ready to tear it up. Now, in order to get both of these cards, all I need is a brick and a food and something else, which is why I was thinking about maybe putting that brick there. But no matter, uh, I just need two bricks and, well, a brick and a food and something else. So how can I get that? Well, I could of course always trade for those things and I have lots of money. So I think that's the best idea, probably better even than doing my prefecting. So, although that's a really nice spot right here in Campania, I get a lot of tools, but do I really want tools right now? I'm not sure. Let's go with the Mercator. I'll take three coins. And then again, what I want is ideally another food and then two brick only because brick is cheapest. So two brick and a food is gonna cost me 10. I'll go ahead and spend the 10 right here for two brick. 
and a food. And while I'm here, should I get some more brick or food? I am tempted, but I think what I need to do is keep my coins potentially if I'm gonna try to do any building. So I'll stop there. And then Contrarius is going to roll the black die and build one house in that spot. Wine, okay, that's a new place. Let's look for wine places he can build. He can go to Hadria, he can go to Luceria. Uh, he could get down here to Cosa. Um, let's see, anywhere else he can go. I already know that Hadria is not gonna be his choice because he's already in that region. He wants a new region, so one of those is where he's going to go. Uh, yeah, so back to alphabetical. Uh, C, of course, is the winning city. Uh, we want to take the shortest route, so even though his land colonists could get there, let's take the sea colonists instead and place one out. Oh, you know what? By the way, let me uh, think about this for a second because he actually has three movements, so he could reach Segusio by going one, two, three, but again, ties are broken here by alphabetical, so Kosa is where he'll put his house by sailing like so. And that's his turn. Oh, wait, no, when we roll the black die, of course the province produces. So Etruria produces, we flip this over like so. And if it was already flipped, he would flip all the coins over, the coin bonus tokens, but only if there were three or more. Small little rule we have to remember, but otherwise, pretty streamlined and, and straightforward and intuitive. <laughs> I hope you're seeing that as we play. All right, my turn. I'm ready to just, I'm not going to stall anymore. I'm ready to do the senator. I really would like these two specialist cards. I'm going to pay a food and a brick for the first farmer card, and I will pay a food and a brick for the mason and add these to my hand like so. Let's slide these all over. Uh -huh. We're really tackling these cards. We are actually almost out of cards. There's only one more in the deck, so. Fantastic, these go in my hand, and Contrarius is gonna build one house. Let's see where he's looking to build. Wine, again, interesting, okay. Well, of course, we saw that Hadria was an option, but he's already in that region, so that leaves Segusio. All right, that's where he wants to go, or Luceria, which is also a new region, and L beats S. So let's head that direction. We could go one, two, I think that's what I'll do, and we'll put a house in the wine. Now, he's really going for that wine strategy. I don't like that. All right, back to me. I've got no resources, but I've got four money, so what can I do with that? Well, first step probably is to start, mm, well, making some money. <laughs> I should get some more brick houses so I can activate my mason and get lots of brick. But in order to do that, I need food. So, Cecilia is a good way for me to get the food that I need to build those brick houses. Why don't we do that? I think I'll go ahead and use my Perfectus Magnus. I'll go big. I'll flip this over and get two food from the bonus token. Take one from Panormus. Of course, if Contrarius was a human player, he would be getting a brick right now, but he doesn't. He just gets one point for each house in the province, which is two. So there he goes to seven, and that's his turn. Back to me. So I've got three food and I've got four money, so I could potentially build three brick houses, and with my mason, I'm incentivized to do that because I get three points per brick house. Otherwise, of course, brick houses are not very great for endgame scoring because Jupiter ignores those brick houses. Let's see, I can only have, I can only move two, so moving one, two could get me these two, uh, which is only two, but I'd be okay with doing that. Not to mention when I activate Cecilia, I'd be getting a lot of resources. Now, uh, Masada is going to be a little bit more pricey because there's already a house there, but I think I'm okay spending extra. Now I have to keep in mind also, oops, <laughs> sorry, by doing that, uh, when I activate Cecilia, there will be one, two, three, four houses there, which gives Contrarius four points, which honestly is a lot, but I think for how much I'm gonna get out of it, that might be worth it. The alternative for me is, I guess, to go one, two. Now that's a thought, and build an Ancana and build in Ravenna. You know what, that puts me in a new province. That might be what I wanna do instead. So let's try that. Do something a little bit different. So I will architect. I'm gonna move my land colonist one, two, and I will pay two food, and then one food for the open city and two, sorry, one money for the open city and two money for the city that Contrarius is already in. And that lets me put these two houses in Ravenna and and kind of like so. Fantastic. Next, Contrarius wants to buy a card. So let's see what he takes. One. All right, the colonist. 
Here we go. That's a great card, of course. You don't start your hand with the colonist, so it's nice to get one. And there's one available right there. And our last card from the deck is out. Just like in a normal game, the game ends when the last card is taken from the uh, market up there or when someone builds their last house. I have nine left, Kacharius has 10 left. All right, we're ready to carry on. Let's do Prefect. I'm going to do Campania. I get a tool from there and then I get a tool from here and I get a brick. So tool, two tools and a brick and then Kacharius gets uh, one point per house in the province, which is two up to nine back to me i'm gonna do a double sorry a double diplomat here because my first one i think what i'm gonna do is prefect again i'm gonna go ahead and take that prefectus magnus up here and i'm gonna trigger umbria i'll get two silk from there silk or cloth i guess cloth so two with the magnus and then another cloth and another brick and thank goodness i can hold all of that exactly and let's take a look again. Contrarius gets one point per house in the province, which is three. Whew, I'm giving him so many points. And we'll flip that over. Next, I'm gonna Diplomat again to take his Mercator card. And this is the upgraded version, so I'll take five coins. I'm at six, I'd like to do a lot of building here. And then I can trade up to two types of goods. Now, I don't need this much silk. Uh, I'm not sure if I want any of this silk right now. I actually might get rid of all of it. I think I might just have a lot of money to play with. So ditch all three of those for 21 coins. My goodness, 21. And then I can only buy one type of good. What is it gonna be? Bricks are great. I think it might be, hmm. Well, that could be, well, let me think about this. That's a tool building. That's a tool building. That's a brick building. I might go with food so I can get more brick buildings out. You know what? Let me get one of those silks back because maybe I'll build a silk house down the road. So hold on one second. Let me get that silk back. And then what I think I'll do is I'll just buy, oh, I don't know, maybe I've got lots of money. Maybe I'll buy two food. So two food and put the 10 back and get a two and buy two food. I think that's what we'll do. And what does Contrarius do? Since I took his Mercator card, he's going to build one house and that province is going to produce. I'll go ahead and flip that over now. Let's see what he's trying to build. Oh, a food building. Okay, food. He's got three moves. Food is what he wants. There's one, but he's already in that province. He's already here. Let's see, one, two, three. He could certainly get to there. He could get to not quite there. He could certainly sail to there. I think those are his two preferences. Again, those are two new provinces for him. He can't get to here. Otherwise, uh, he's in all the other ones. So let's see, Illyria or Aquilia. Well, pretty close, but AL beats AQ. So I think that's where we'll go. We'll sail down there and place a house in food like he wanted to. And then that place produces in Corsica. Back to me. Now, I've got lots of building materials. I've got lots of money. I've got 12 Sisteria to play with. I think it's time to architect. Now, let's figure out where we're going to go. All right, after careful deliberation and only two colonist moves, I think my best move right now is maybe one, two. I'm going to build one here, one there. Uh, I'm remiss to spend these tools and food. I'd love to build that colonist card and build a whole bunch of colonists with the resources I have, but I can't get that card um, right now, and I have no way of getting cards because I don't have a senator and I also used my diplomats. So I'll spend them now. I'll leave a tool and a food for when I tribune and I'll build a colonist that way. Anyway, so let's see, two brick, of course, and a tool and a food, and let's consult my little cheat sheet. It looks like that's gonna cost me five money. So we'll put the 10 back and take a five. And we've got two more buildings out on the board. There we go, one there, one there. I'm in two new provinces. Oh, wow, well, one new province, I should say. I love that. And let's roll the die to see what card Contrarius is gonna take. Five, whoa, one, two, three, four, five. The console purchase a card without any additional payments. Excuse me, let's put that there. That's a nice card. And we are running low on cards up there, everybody. Oh boy, I feel like this game rushes you a little bit. Next, 
I could produce in all my food cities, which is only two, but that gives Contrarius three points. See, that doesn't seem like a good trade-off unless I have a ton of food buildings. So I'll hold off on that. Same thing with the brick here. I could get two brick, sorry, three brick, but again, gives them three points, which actually though, for three brick, I might be willing to do that. Hmm. I might do that. I think I will. So I'll do this. Mason, I've got one, two, three brick buildings. There we go. One, two, three. Three points for Contreras. That, oh boy. I might regret that because he's at 15. And I think I'm finally ready to Tribune. So let's count my cards that I've played so far. Pick these up if I can. Here we go. I've got one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, not bad. Wow, I'm racking up the drive. I got 14 Sister she had to work with. And Contrarius is going to build a house for his best specialist, which is still the Smith. Uh, until he gets the Vintner or the Weaver, it's going to be the Smith. So let's see where he can build. Somewhere that's open and in a new province, ideally. So it looks like the only one might be here. Is that correct? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think so, because he's already in that province, doesn't want to go there. Can he reach this? Of course he can. We'll sail one space over. One and build in Genua, perhaps? I'd like to say Geneva, but I think that V is a U sound. So there we go, he builds, and he's gonna take one colonist or one card. If he takes a card, wow, it's gonna speed things up a lot. And a C colonist, all right. Back into Roma, back to me. I've got all my cards back into my hand. I'm ready to do a lot of things. I've got some great resources, and I've got some, oh, hold on one second. Now, hold on, before I take my cars back, I should do this colonist. So let's go ahead and spend the food and the tool. And then am I gonna put a land colonist or a sea colonist? Well, my sea colonist is over there. I have a land colonist there, but maybe this guy could come down and then my land colonist could go up that way because I've got some spots there I'd like to fill. Let's try land, like so. And now I'm ready to start doing some stuff. Uh, architect would be nice. I could build a food city and a cloth city. I see a nice intersection of that right there. One, two, I could back this guy up. One, two to do that <clears throat> and spend that third turn to get him out of there. But you know what? If I could get a wine, I could put a wine here with that too. So let's find a way to get wine. Could I build all that with 12 coins? I just barely could. I think it would cost me 11 to do all that. So let's do it. Um, I think maybe I'll do Perfectus Magnus again. I would like to get some double wine. And I don't have any wine cities yet. So Transpadana would also give me some food, which doesn't hurt. So let's try that. And I don't want to do a pool yet. That's no good. Okay. Perfectus Magnus. Flip this over. I'm going to get two wine and also food by activating Transpadana. Oh, sorry. Did I say two food? One food, of course. And then Contrarius gets, uh, I was going to say one point because there's one house, but when you play the PM, Perfectus Magnus card, it's a minimum of two. So two points. Yikes. Maybe I should have just gone with the one. But, oh well. Let's see. So now I've got a lot I can do, and I think I'll just go ahead and architect. I'm eager to get this out there. Let's see. Architect. I've got three movements now. I'm going to move him back here one two because i like that intersection there of course i have the mason and i have the farmer so either way it's three points for me either way and of course for the jupiter card i want um non-brick buildings anyways so that was one two moves to get there and let's move my land colonists over to cosa oh you know what i did not consider that that's going to be doubly expensive for the wine now hold on a minute that'll be five six seven plus Eight is 15, so I am one coin shy. Darn it. Yikes. Now, what am I going to do instead? Oh, boy. That was a bummer. Hmm. Is there any way the ship could help me out at all? I don't think so. Well, I guess if I need that one coin, I suppose he can move to the brick instead. Um, you know, uh, sacrifice that. But that one coin, I'm, I'm going to need it to do that second house on Cosa, and I don't see another way I could pull that off. So, although there's the wine here I could get, hmm, I'll save that for later. I'll just stick with what I, what I wanted to, my plan A. So that was two moves, I believe, to get there, one, two, 
and my third move will be here. And I hate to go on a, another building that's that expensive, but oh, I think I will. Gets me in a new region. No, oh, I'm torn, guys. This doesn't seem very bright, but let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> a brick and a silk there, and just a food there, and then a brick and a wine here. And then let's add all that cost up. So that's eight plus five is 13 and then 14 for that brick. So that's all my coins. Yikes. I'm sure people are going to say, why on earth did you build in that wine city that was already built on when you could have gone to Segusio? Well, people, I'm not sure. How about one here, one here and one there. Okay. That was me doing more architecting, which means more cards for Contrarius makes me very nervous. That's a four, one, two, three, four. Oh boy, the Weaver. Now let's think for a second. Does he have any Weaver City houses? I don't think so. One, two, where's the other one? Down here. So, so far we're okay. That, that is no points for Contrarius right now. So I'm okay with him taking that as opposed to something else. Although, no, yeah, no, that's actually zero points. Five times zero. I love that. Okay, now I think we might be incentivized now to maybe go for that Vintner because we spent so much on that wine city. Seems like a waste to not score that. I'd like to get down here to Segusio if I can. I already have the brick and the wine. Now all I need is the money. So how to get money? Well, selling cloth is always a nice way to do it. I've got the prefect card so I could get some. Hmm. Oh, I see a good one. Venetia right there. Oh yeah, that's the one we want to activate. Watch this. So, Prefect. I will flip this. I'll get the cloth from that token. I'll also get a cloth from my house in Verona. And I get a brick from, uh, let's see, Balsanum? Balsanum? There we are. That's not bad. There are two houses in that uh, province, so two points for Contrarius. Almost got me beat. Now hold on a second, not yet. All right, now I've got a lot I can do. And with my Mercator card, I can do all kinds of buying and selling and trading. Although I like these cards, I've been sort of ignoring them. Perhaps, perhaps I should seize this while I have the chance. I think I might. I've got brick, I've got wine, I've got food, and I'm willing to sacrifice my other brick because I could use my Mason to get more brick, couldn't I? Sure. Let's do it. I'm going to send it her. It's all about the cards in this game. I think so. So what do we say? Food, brick, wine, brick. Get rid of all that to buy these two cards like so. We'll scooch these down. We're running low. And why am I singing so much? And Contrarius is going to build a house in his specialist. And now, oh boy, I did not like that. Now he wants to go in the weaver spot because that is his... That's his best specialist. Rats, that would have been nice if that was uh, never activated. Well, he wants to go to an empty spot, preferably, and that is the spot. So let's sail down. Uh, I'm gonna keep this guy in Roma, I think. Let's have this ship sail. Um, yeah, if it's the same number of moves, it's my choice, and I think I'd rather get him over here. So one house in Olbia, and that is five points for Contreras. That was a huge bummer. Sometimes the luck of the die is not in your favor. Now let's see. So I have houses in each type of uh, each type of city. So that's good for Mercator. I'm in a lot of provinces. So what do I want to do? I've got two cloth and I want to be working on maybe some wine buildings if at all possible. All right, here's where I'm at. I am going to try to build a whole bunch before this game ends. So let's start with the diplomat. Uh, and I'm going to copy the prefect over here. Well, I'll leave that face up for now. I'm going to use the flipping all the coins action. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That should give me all the coins I need to do all my building toward the end here. I got five, ten, eleven. I had no coins, so that's going to help a lot. And then since I did that, Contrarius gets two points, and it's right back to me. There you go. All right, and then I think we're gonna Diplomat again. Oh no, wait a minute. I was gonna Diplomat to do a Prefect action, but they're gone. I don't have any Prefect actions. He doesn't have any Prefect actions. The only one left is here. Oh, rats. Oh man, now we gotta think about plan B because I really wanted wine. I wanna build wine here. 
I suppose I could, I've got the money now, I suppose I could trade for it and I don't really need this silk. But I'm gonna get my brick. No, you know what, I think I've got it. We're gonna Mercator. I do not have the upgraded version, so I'll Mercator, I'll get three coins and then I'm gonna sell, I think it's time to get rid of all my cloth. No sense holding on to it. There we go, for 14. Because you know what, it's only worth face value at the end and I don't need to cluttering up my storage. I'm not planning on building any silk buildings. So there's 14 and I can buy something else. I think what I want is wine. And probably I just need one. Although, you never know. Should I buy two just in case? Sure. Spend 10. I mean, sure. Yeah. In case things go wrong. So there's 12 to buy two wine. And you know what? I think I do want that because one of the wines will go toward buying that card and one of them will go toward here. So there we go. I got my three. I sold my cloth and got some wine and Contrarius is gonna roll to see where he builds. It's a brick. Are there any bricks available left? Uh, there's one here that he could sail to. Move these out of the way. And that might be, oh, well, there's this one, but he's already in that province. So I believe this is the only one he's interested in. Yep, looks like it. So he's gonna sail back over here, drop one in the brick. And of course it's a black die, which means it produces in Liguria. Liguria, let's go ahead and flip that. Simple, it's that easy. You stay there, I'll put this here. All right, next. Oh, I've got my wine. Now what I need is my brick. And of course I have the mason and I'm ready to produce some brick. How many though? I think it's still three, isn't it? One, two, three, four. When did that happen? Oh yeah, of course. One, two, three, four. That worked out just fine. Let's do four brick for me and three points for Contreras. One, two, three, four. I really wanted to get more colonists out on the board, but it just didn't happen this turn, this game. All right, great. Next, I'm ready to start building, I think, although I really wanted a food and he blocked me off and I see a rats. I wanted to do that and that, and now I can't. So two wine might be my better move, but how am I gonna get two wine? I don't have enough colonists to get around the board. One, two, one, two. I need one more move and that stinks. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I can't, I don't know how I could get a tool and a food to, to do that. So I could settle for just getting one of those wine buildings. Uh, what else could I do? Um, let's see, I could, let's see, I could diplomat his console to take that card, Prefect, and you know what? That might help me get the food I need. And you know what? I would activate Cecilia. I think that is an okay move. Let's do it. I'm gonna diplomat. I will copy his console, although, does he have a senator? I could do senator and get both of these. Hold on a minute, and that's 10 points. Okay, I'll do both of these. So never mind, I'll do the senator. So wine and the other wine, and a brick and a brick. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm going against my better judgment, or at least my instincts, but let's take both of those cards. That's probably the right move. That's a lot of points coming in here. And then since I copied the senator, Contrarius builds yet another house. He has six left, by the way, and I have four left. So we're coming down to the wire. A wine, oh, another wine. It's making everything pricey. Well, there's one here, but he's already in that province, and there's one here, which is a new province. Can he get there? You know what? I'm not sure he can. I don't think he can. He's got three moves, correct, or four? Um, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, darn it, he can. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a big deal. Otherwise, he would have just gone here. So, But now it gives him another province, which stinks. One, two, three, four and a house in Segusio. I wish that hadn't happened, but it did. And I used this senator, so that's done. And then I think the last thing that's gonna happen, or one of the last things is I'm gonna architect and then he'll take that last card. So let's plan this move out carefully. Do I still want the wine? I think I still want the wine. And I can get that with my vint, my, what is this, a vintner. But I could also get that by activating Etruria, do I have a prefect? I do, because I just picked that up. Yes, I do. I could do a big wine move. I think I will. It's going to give him two points, but I I think that'll still work out for me. Will it? And then I'll build in Hadria, and then I'll trigger the end of the game. Or do I just take that last card? 
I mean, that's an option too, you know? Uh, why, why let him take it? Can I take the card? I suppose I can't. I can't take the card. I don't have any diplomats, I don't have any consuls or senators, so I guess the only way I can trigger the game is by architecting and letting him take that last card, which sounds okay. So, barring any other options, I think maybe what I could do is, uh, let's see, let's see. I want food and wine. Is there a way I could do that? I don't think so. I don't think I can get both. Yes, there is. Transpadana would give me a wine and a food, and that would let me build both here and here. And that sounds like a winning move. All right, everybody, it's go time. Prefectus Magnus gives me double the bonus, so that's two wines up there in Transpadana, plus another wine. Oh, sorry. No, not another wine. Plus a food. Two points for Contreras, because there's two points in that province. One, two, two houses, I should say. And next is going to be my final action of the game, which is architecting. I will, uh, I can move three spaces. I'll move one to here, and one, two, to here. One, two, which is all of my moves, and I do not see a better option. That's the only wine space that's open. That's a, another uh, unoccupied food region, so that seems like what I want to be doing. I think that's it. Sure. I'll stick with it. Let's go ahead and build. I'm building a brick and a wine right there, and a brick and a food over there, and let's check out the cost. That looks like two plus four, six, and I certainly have plenty of money to cover that. I thought I was going to do a lot more, but I couldn't, so there's two four. Two more buildings. I'm down to my last two buildings, and Contrarius' action, of course, is taking a card. Whoops, that's not the right die. Not that it matters. It's a five, and it takes a one instead. And that is how the game ends. So, I get the Contrarius card, or sorry, the Concordia card for seven more points. Con Contrarius has 12 cards. I have, I'll go ahead and reset here. I have a ton, actually. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards. That bodes well for me. I feel like, as in Stone Age, it seems like whoever has the most cards at the end wins. So give me one second, I'll get ready for scoring, and then we'll see how we did. All right, so let's get to the final scoring. I've got this handy dandy scoring sheet that I printed out online. I'm at 20 points right now. Contrarius is at 26, and let's get to it. So Vesta, of course I have one. I have my gods lined up here, and then Contrarius is all stacked there. So I've got my one Vesta card. I've got exactly 10 coins down there. My wine does no good with that six. So one point for me, nothing there. Jupiter, okay, so let's look at mine first. I've got three times the number of non-brick houses, which I have nine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, so three times nine is 27. And then Contreras over there has four times its non-brick houses. Let's take a look, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like seven. So four times seven gives it 28, very fantastic. Saturnus, I've got four times provinces that I'm in. Let's take a look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven provinces. I did not get around that much. I'm missing four provinces, but that's okay. I'm gonna put 28 there. And then for Contrarius, he's got three Saturnus cards. That's three times provinces that he's in. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces for Contrarius. So three times eight is 24. Next, I've got Mercurius. Let's see, I've got four times type of goods. I certainly have all five types. Let's double check. I've got brick, I've got food, I've got tools, I've got wine. There's wine there, and I've got cloth, so that gives me five. Four times five is 20. And then over there, Contreras has four times. Does he have all five types? I think so. We've got brick, food, tools, wine, cloth. He has all five right there down in the southwestern quadrant, so that's five. 20 points there as well. All right, almost done. Um, let's see, Mars, I've got four times my colonists. I only ever got three out, so four times three is 12. This is looking really neck and neck so far. I mean, look at these scores. 
That is wild. And then over there, four times. Let's see, Contrarius got four colonists out, one land colonist, and all three sea colonists for 16. And now we gotta do our Minervas. So, brick, that's me, of course, three times my brick buildings. I see one, and two, and three, and four. That's 12 points for me. Next is food. Again, that's also me as well. Yes, I'm standing on my bench, if you're wondering how I'm so high up here. One, two, and I know there's another. There it is. So that's nine points for me. Tools, of course. Uh, that's contrary. Started with that mason. Let's see. I see one there, and I think there's another one there in crouton. It's only two because he's missing that one and that one and that one. So uh, only six points. Contreras, what were you doing this whole time? And then Minerva, that's me of course. Wine cities, I see one there and I see one there. So that's eight points for me. I think that was definitely worth taking that wine city. And then lastly, cloth. Well, that's Contreras and Contreras only ever got that one. Kind of lucked into that cloth spot. I don't see the other one. So that's five points for Contrarius and seven points for me for ending the game. And let's do some quick maths here. If I run down through here, I th think that adds up to 144. Let me know if I did my math wrong here, people. And then let me go down through here. That looks like, that looks like 125 for Contrarius. That is what it's looking like, fantastic. Now, before I put this away and end our video, let's take a look here. So I'm gonna loop myself around to 144 and 125. And the way this works is if you're interested in playing sort of the campaign version of this game, for every five that I beat Contrarius, that's one, two, three, uh, four, I think I would round up there, I'm gonna start the game, the next game, instead of at 20, I'm gonna start at 16. So that's gonna make this next game a little bit harder, but that's how you kind of play the whole scenario campaign style. So there you go. And that was Concordia Solitaria. With a score of 144, we're first gonna send $75 to Mahmoud in Egypt, which was a part of the Roman Empire at one point. Mahmoud is 29 and lives in Beni Suef, Egypt with his wife and baby. Uh, Beni Suef is right there near Cairo. There, he runs a successful sewing business and is currently looking for a loan to help him purchase new equipment and tools. So we're gonna send $75 to help him toward that goal. The other $69 are going to be donated to the humanitarian relief efforts coordinated by the Ukrainian Baptist Convention. Through UBC's connection with the Ukrainian Baptist Union, they've been able to financially support humanitarian and refugee efforts in Ukraine, focusing on providing food, medical treatment, clothes, and many other necessities. You can find out more about UBC and Kiva in the description down below. And that's it for today. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if there's a charity or a game I should check out for the next Solo Play Sunday. And in the meantime, have a wonderful week, take care, and happy gaming. Bye! What's up with the lighting? Lighting looks funky today. Oh well. Mahmoud is 29. Mm-hmm. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Mahmoud.